and welcome to a brand new episode of Joe Sent Me. My name is Joe and I am your host for today. Today I want to talk to you about Al Harmain Parfums. And you've probably heard a lot about Al Harmain recently just because there's been a lot of reviewers out there on YouTube who have checked out their fragrances and because of their reviews, they have really intrigued me. Because of the positive buzz that I was getting from a lot of the YouTube world on these fragrances, it has really caused me to look into this brand and see, okay, what's the hype all about? So I wanna talk about three Al Harmain parfums that I got that you need to check out and you will definitely love. There's no doubt about it. There's not a single person that has a bad thing to say about these next three that I'm going to talk to you about. First one I'm going to talk to you about is their least expensive one and it is this one right here called La Venture. and they also have a, a, a different version of it as well, our La Venture Blanc as well. Um, I have the original La Venture. This is a really nice bottle. In fact, the first review that I saw, in fact, all three of these were thanks to a reviewer that I specifically, I love watching his reviews because they're very animated, they're very exciting, they're fun to watch, and you probably don't wanna watch them around your kids, but it's still really fun to watch Cubano. So you've got to check out his video. I'm going to include links to his reviews on all three of these. And yes, they are kind of naughty. So just be on the lookout. Parental guidance is suggested. Yes, there's language in the video, but I will tell you he is by far the most animated, the most exciting reviewer to watch online right now. And he's done videos for Scentbird, so you might have seen him before. He kind of looks like John Leguizamo. A lot of people think he's related. No, he's not. But he's just a super cool guy. He loves perfumes just like all of us and he really does a great review on these fragrances. So all three of these fragrances are thanks to him. He has sold me on every single one of them because of that. So first one on the list here is La Venture by Al Harmain. And this one right here is a really nice cube looking bottle. It is reflection right here all over. It's very reflective, so you can kind of see everything on there. It's got a nice top that's rubberized, but it clicks into place. And this scent right here, some people have referred to this as an Aventus clone. I personally don't think so. It may be a little bit in the opening, but it is extremely bright in the citrus. It's great for the summer, great for any season whatsoever. This is a great... If you're just looking for something that's bright and fresh and masculine, this is an awesome fragrance. It is just great. And it's like less than $40 a bottle. And uh, you can go online and check them out. There's a lot of places that sell them. This next fragrance was completely a blind buy. In fact, these next two are, well, all of these are blind buys. This next fragrance is one that is by far one of the most exciting ones that I've had in a long time. Kuba spoke so highly of this fragrance that while watching his video, I ended up picking it up. It was that Awesome. Which one am I talking about? Well, it is none other than Oud 36. Now, this fragrance right here is probably one of the nicest presentations I've ever seen in a fragrance. Both this Oud 36 and the Oud 36 Nui, both of them come in the same box. And yes, that is the other one, so I'm gonna show you that in a minute here. Both fragrances retail for $250. However, you can find them for probably about $100 or less if you do your research online. The casing looks just like this. When you pull the flap, it opens up like this and reveals where the perfume is seated down in the bottom there. The bottle is 2.5 and I will show you what that looks like in just a minute here. Looks just like this and the fragrance is unbelievable. I wore this thing last week and although this one is called Oud 36, there's no oud whatsoever, so beats me why they call it that. So let me give you the notes on this thing. And like I said, it does not feature any oud, although the name oud 36 is on it, but I will say this just is heavenly. This is a very rich 
fragrance, great for the fall, great for cold weather, great on a date night. Promise you this is a, a crowd pleaser and you will not regret this purchase whatsoever. We have geranium and lang lang in the top. We also have cystus as well in the top. Then we have rose, cedar, and patchouli in the middle. And last we have labdanum, benzoin, which tends to be a little more like a vanilla-ish fragrance. And we also have amber as well. It warms up very nicely. This is definitely a fragrance that is, is just super warm, very inviting, very sexy, very romantic as well. So then I saw that they make another O36 and it's called O36 Nui. This is what the case looks like right here. Same as the other one. In fact, I'm gonna hold them both up together so that you can see. The Oud 36 Nui is a darker looking box. And then the regular Oud 36 is this right here. Now Oud 36 Nui is very different than Oud 36. This one, the star of the show is actually Oud. And it deserves a name, you know? because it, the Oud is definitely the star of this show. In fact, it is what I'm wearing today right now. It's a beautiful Oud. It is unisex as well. It totally smells like an expensive Oud, like you spent a lot of money on a high quality Oud, yet this thing goes for $88 on some sites. So it's just hard to believe that it's only 88 bucks, but yet it smells like a thousand dollar Oud. I'm not kidding, it's, it's very, very high quality. The notes in this are geranium, cardamom, and cedar at the top. In the middle we got rose, saffron, and oud. And the rose and the saffron combined with the oud make for a very, very nice warm oud. And in the base we have sandalwood, musk, and labdamum. And that is what rounds out this fragrance really well. And I've worn it already for several hours and it dries down very beautifully. When you put it on, it is, it is a, it's a strong fragrance and you can tell the quality of the oud in here. And again, it blows me away that it's only $88 because I swear this smells like a very expensive bottle of oud perfume. So do I recommend these? Absolutely. Go out and get them all. And in fact, all Harmain has not disappointed me at all and I now want to try out everything that they make because it literally is just a wonderful surprise this brand has been to me. So let me know what you think. If you've worn any of these, if you haven't, if you what you're looking to try, leave a comment below and then let me know what, what you'd like to see in the future. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share with your friends this video. Pass it along. Show, show people if you've never heard of Arl Harmain and you want them to know about it. Pass this video along to them. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and have a great day.